Here at Johns Hopkins, uh, if you're in the mechanical engineering department and if you want to graduate, uh, by senior year you have to take a class called Senior Design. Senior Design is a year-long class. Um, the first semester is for the actual design and the second semester is for fabrication. There were nine projects uh, in the beginning of the course. Uh, nine different sponsors, nine companies came to us and uh, presented their um, projects. Uh, our project um, is sponsored by VME, Volunteers for Medical Engineering. They asked us to design a computer desk for a disabled client who works full time from home. She wanted a portable desk that she can use anywhere in the apartment and we decided that if we were going to have all these computer components on a portable desk, it wasn't going to be portable. So we figured we'd have one desk that would be portable and another desk that would be stationary. And we'd leave some of the things that she didn't need all the time on the stationary desk. So initially we wanted to build something that was very high tech. We wanted to include motors for everything. We were just going crazy with ideas, but we came down to earth and slowly we just modified all of our ideas and came with one final design. We have two uh, desks. Uh, for our client. One is called the portable desk, one is called the stationary desk. The portable desk she will be using in her li living room mainly and also she can move it out to her patio. It's made out of aluminum with plastic boards so it's pretty light. We designed it and sent it to a manufacturer and they actually put all the parts together and delivered it for us and that was really neat to see. We have locks on the, the wheels so that when she puts it in the final position, she can lock it down with her crutches, and then she can use her crutches to go back to her wheelchair and then drive it to the desk. We put handles on the sides that she can uh, use it as a walker, and we also have a uh, lazy season um, so that her laptop can swivel around. She likes to be able to give presentations with that desk, and uh, when she wants to show a figure or a slide, she can just turn her computer facing the audience and they can see what she's talking about. The other desk is a stationary desk. It's made out of wood. We started off actually trying to modify the desk that we bought from a retailer, but that didn't work out too well, so then we decided just to fill our own desk. So we bought our own wood, we cut it down to size, and we built it um, and we stained it. It has a keyboard tray that she can pull out. It also has a custom-made file carousel that rotates, and that way she can access multiple files from one location. I think that was one of our creative ideas. Oh, I love this thing so much. Do you know how much I love this thing? Oh my gosh, my life is better already. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of having just one computer and having her ha have to move the computer around, we have two computers for her, a desktop CPU for the stationary desk and also a laptop for the portable desk. Um, we wanted to have the two connected wirelessly um, via a router so that she can access all of her files from um, either computer. Now I can try to keep up with deadlines and not miss being outside in my little windows of opportunity. It's obvious from looking at what they've delivered to Joy that they understood the problem extremely well and took into account all the ergonomics of the problem. I think this project is really fulfilling for all of us because we are actually working with someone as opposed to working for a company. I feel a lot of more sense of accomplishment, I guess, when we actually deliver these to her and you know see the smile on her face and see it work. I feel like we're actually using the talents that we have and the skills that we learn to make a gift for a person that's in need. So I think that's really important.